the thing about medications and like the jabberoo is like my experience with trusting a bladder pill that my body has changed since I've taken it. And a good, it's a good thing that I no longer like sip water during work. I like suck on something so I don't get dry mouth and I already have dry mouth because that would lead to bad things, cavities, etc. Et um, so I flush with water like after work, like four bottles. And I try to be on a time schedule so I don't use it all night eat as well. So doctors would be like, oh, it should be out of your system or whatever because it made my overactive bladder worse. And I was very hesitant to trust a bladder pill because I trusted a few, but none of them led to like, like I could literally sit on a toilet and use it. I could constantly push out urine like all day I, I could do seriously um and like as soon as I drink water I have to immediately go to the bathroom and it's like back to back to back to back like 15 minutes like every 15 minutes and like before with just overactive before the bladder pill I would just go like every 45 minutes so yeah uh, medicine may get out of your system but it changes your body it, it can do something to your body that mess it up so it's just crazy how they try to be like, oh, it's out of your system now or something. Da, 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 da. You should be fine now. No, it messes your body up. It stuff do stuff to your body and mess it up. So it's, it can, it's very frustrating. I'm glad I know how to deal with it outside of like my home because if I was to drink a little bit of water, I would literally have like a sip of water. I would have to go to the bathroom and like, Drinking water is like so frustrating because I'm constantly going back to back to the bathroom. But I have to flush my body out with water. And like I said, I do like four bottles of water and then like a time schedule. So I'm not going to the bathroom all night long. So it's, it's a very frustrating thing. And I could never imagine drinking water like during the day because I would not be able to work. I'll be going to the bathroom all day long. It's just very frustrating that I trusted a pill that made it worse and made things that I didn't deal with before. Like before I didn't not take no sip of water and have to go to the bathroom right away or like sit on the toilet and I can, I can push out urine back to back to back. So that pill did something to me and that's what they don't want to say, you know, about pills like the Jabiruhu. You know, it's going to give people who may not have a side effect now, but you don't know about later, you know, because these side effects didn't happen off the back. I stopped taking them after like four weeks because I started to notice I started going to the bathroom more. And then these other side effects happened and they haven't gone away since. And this has been since like the summer. I had a procedure done just to verify that I had overactive bladder. I didn't even need that done, which was very painful as a virgin. And it was very painful. A lot of cores going in you, a lot of things getting taken out of you, a big microscope going in you. It's just very frustrating. Like I go to go to the bathroom again and I've been constantly ur urinating back to back. It's very overwhelming. I pray about it all the time for God to heal it. I just don't, that's why I don't trust pills or never trusted taking pills before. And it's just really it's terrible. Like, it's pointless to put on lotion, you know, because I'm going to use it constantly and I have to flush out my body or, you know, your, livers can your liver can fail, your kidneys can fail if you're not flushing with water. So, it's a good thing I do it when I get home, but even at home, it's so frustrating. It's like, I'm tired of going to the bathroom. <laughs> but it's worse things people dealing with. So, I just try to just be thankful and grateful. God bless.